let's talk all about the Max Bone Go Everywhere backpack. Hey everyone, I'm Kate Schwenke and welcome back to my channel for another fun review. Today I am reviewing the gorgeous Max Bone Go Everywhere backpack in this amazing dusty mauve color. This color is so gorgeous. It is like a really pretty color that is somewhere in between a pink and a purple. So dusty mauve is like a dusty purpley rose and I'm loving it. <laughs> I just took this bag on a nice hike with my family recently and it was amazing. It is definitely my favorite bag I've ever tried on a hike with Emma inside. And Emma is my Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. She's 13 pounds. This bag can actually hold a small dog up to 17 pounds. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is dimensions because I want you to make sure that this bag is the right size for your pup. This bag is 16 inches tall, 12 and a half inches wide, and nine and a half inches deep. So as you can see, this is a nice wide backpack. You can also see, you can see through it on both sides. I don't know if you guys can see my face, but this is a super breathable bag. Now the last bag that I had for Emma on hikes and things, she was panting a little bit and she was getting a little warm in there. This bag, when we took her, she was totally fine, didn't pant at all the entire time, which I really appreciate because it is getting warmer out here in Tennessee. But this bag was perfect for her and at only 13 pounds and this bag has a little bit of weight to it. It actually didn't feel heavy at all to me. I really enjoyed carrying her in this bag. So let's go over some of the great features this bag has to offer because it has a lot. <laughs> this bag has lots of pockets, which I'm super excited about. So I'm gonna go over those first on the very side of the bag. As I mentioned, this is nine and a half inches deep. This is amazing for space for your dog. I love that. But also it allows for there to be nice wide pockets as well. So I have a bottle of water over here for my dog and I may take a swig here and there too, but I can use this in conjunction with the bowl that I have on the other side. On this side, I have my Max Bone expandable bowl in that gorgeous mint color. And we actually used this system of this and this while my dog was in the bag on our last hike and it was amazing. We didn't even have to take her out of the bag for her to have a drink. So I love that, it was wonderful. In this pocket I was able to hold a collapsible bowl. And then I also have my dog's leash in here. And this is a Kavology rope leash but it's just a good option if she isn't able to stay in her bag or she just wants to get out and have a little walk or something while we're out and about, or if you're traveling and you need to carry a leash with you, you have tons of space in these massive pockets to hold everything. One of the great things about these side pockets as well is that they are completely waterproof. There is a shiny black material in here that is completely wipeable, so if you get a spill in there or something, it's totally easy to clean out. So you have one nice large pocket on each side of the bag. You also have this really great pocket in the very front here. And the material on this bag is amazing. It is a super, super soft neoprene. So it feels really, really nice. And one thing I like about this front pocket too is that it has your Max Bone logo right on the front here. So if anybody wonders where you got your awesome bag from, you will know right away. So in this nice big pocket, because it may not look huge, but it actually can hold quite a bit. In this pocket here, I have my keys on the top, and this pocket is also lined in that black shiny material, so if you get a spill in here as well, easily wipeable. Down underneath my keys, I have a little doggy treat dispenser. So I have some treats in here for Emma, so if she's an extra good girl, which she always is, so she will definitely get some treats. <laughs> Next to that, I have a little small set piece by Jujubee, which just happens to match really, really well with this bag. But in here, I have some things for myself. So I have chapstick, a oil absorbing ball, a lip gloss, and a hairbrush down in there. So just some things for myself. Also in this bag, you have a small pocket over here. You also have two card slots right here, and I will show you guys that up close. It's a little difficult to show you because of the way the pocket is, but you have two card slots. So I have my driver's license here and a credit card right here. And then in this pocket over here, which is nice and small, but just big enough for a pocket hand sanitizer. So I have that over there. And then there's another zipper pocket on the inside here, which I do not have anything in, but it's a decent sized pocket. 
so you can fit some more doggy treats in there or anything else that you'd like and that is also lined in the same wipeable material so this is such a great pocket it holds all your things for traveling or if you're hiking like I was it's just perfect on the very front of the bag here you have two zipper compartments so you have a double zipper opening up here this one goes all the way down both sides of the bag and this one on the front here opens like this like a little window so your dog can stick their head out emma did that for our whole hike and she just loved it she was able to breathe easily sniff the air see other dogs and things like that she loved this backpack and so did i <laughs> So I love this little window and it is covered in this really heavy duty mesh. So you don't have to worry about your dog destroying the mesh on here because it is really nice quality. And like I said, heavy duty, it's got this really great material. I'll go through the main compartment in just a second, but I did want to mention you do have a grab handle up here, which I highly suggest you always use this grab handle when you are putting the bag on and taking it off because that way your bag doesn't fall forward in case you have the window open so your dog doesn't lean forward too much in the bag. So I always kind of do that <laughs> and it works really well. In the very back of the bag, you have the most comfortable straps I think I have on any backpack I own. They feel like a gel inside here, like a memory foam gel. It is so squishy and soft. And these straps are 2.75 inches wide. I took a measuring tape and measured them for you guys because I thought these can't be three inches, but they are almost three inches. So they are nice and wide to help support the weight of your dog while also making it a very comfortable backpack to wear. So you have these really nice straps. You also have a little pocket here. So if you had a chapstick or you wanted to carry a security whistle or something like that, you can keep it in here. There's another one on the other side. You can also stick some similar sized things in that pocket there. You have a little D-ring here. So if you needed to hang your keys on there or like I said, a security whistle, that is a great place to keep that. And also on the very front here, you have a security clip on the very front of your bag, which you will definitely want to use. My husband and I both used this backpack, and so it is very adjustable. I'm only five foot two and he's six feet tall, and these straps were more than enough for both of us. It was great. Also down under here, you have another pocket, which is also wipeable, and this is where I keep my phone. So let's go ahead and see what the inside of the bag looks like. So let's go ahead and go through the inside of the bag. This goes all the way down on both sides and opens like a suitcase a little bit. So you have all of this space where your dog can stand up. And if they're small enough, they can even lay down on the bottom part here. The inside has this really great clip here that's attached to the D-ring on the inside of the bag. So you can clip this right onto your dog's collar or onto their harness so that they cannot jump out or move around as much. The great thing about the inside lining is that it is fully removable, but it is this really nice Sherpa. So this is what the lining looks like. The other side is fully waterproof. The great thing about these is that they are hand washable. So if your dog does have a little accident in there, you can hand wash these. They are easy to remove and easy to put back in. There we go, right back in. And you also have one on the very bottom here, which is also padded and removable as well. The great thing about this bag is that it can actually double as a dog bed if you are traveling. So you can have it like this and your dog can just sleep in there, curl up into a ball. Emma would no problem fit in here and be able to use this as her bed if we really needed to. So now that we've gone over the inside of the bag, let's go ahead and put Emma in here so you guys can see just how well a dog can fit and how easy it is to load a dog into this. So this is Emma. She is a super sweet girl. I love her so much. She just woke up from a nap, but she's going to love getting into this backpack because she just knows every time she gets in it, she gets to go somewhere fun. So let's go ahead and see her tail wagging. Are you so happy? <laughs> let's go ahead and put her into the backpack. All right, Emma. Can you get in there? Good girl. She's already wagging her tail. <laughs> Can you sit down? Good girl. So this is how much room she has. She's just sitting right now, but she can sit up no problem. She has been able to turn around in here no problem and move and lay down. So you would clip their collar onto that. I'm not going to do it right now because I like to have her in a harness when I do this. You're just lounging in there. 
Yeah, you're such a good girl. So we're gonna go ahead and zip her in. There's one side. Make sure she doesn't get caught up in there. And two sides. And now she is fully loaded in here. And she likes to poke her head out through the window. Hi, Emma. <laughs> you're such a good girl. So this bag is just so great, you guys. I love it. And so does Emma. I love this window because I can give her all the love she needs and wants. No problem. <laughs> She's just kissing away. Good girl. Good girl, Emma. Yeah. <laughs> now let's go ahead and see how this bag looks when it's worn. Now the great thing about this backpack is that there is a little pad on the very back on the lower back area, which helps protect your back from the weight of the dog and also the base of the backpack so you don't get any back pain or anything like that. So as I mentioned, when I'm putting her on, I like to grab up here first so that you prevent it from tilting. So lift, put it on like this. Oh, this bag is so comfortable, I love it. So that is how it looks when you wear it. And then you have your chest clip. Ta-da! Here you go, this is a side view. There's that. I may be able to, yeah, I can access the window from here. There we go. And she can stick her head out if she wants to. <laughs> Come here, Anne. <laughs> So there you guys have it. If you are considering the Go Everywhere backpack, I highly recommend it. I love it, it's super comfortable, it's very supportive. Emma fits in here awesome, I love that window. I just highly recommend it. <laughs> if you guys wanna purchase the Go Everywhere backpack or you see anything else you like on the Maxbone website, if you just use code Kate15, you'll get 15% off of any purchase. If you enjoyed this video and found it fun and helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and definitely subscribe to my channel while you're here if you're new. Thanks for watching.